What's up guys, it's the T-Ball and I am back with another video before I start. If you guys could hit that like button and subscribe for more NBA Brooklyn Nets and Jeremy Lin videos, your support is greatly appreciated as we are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year, so if not sub, be sure to hit that sub button as your support means the world to me and we're creeping closer and closer to that goal. So, so um, today I'm going to be going over Jeremy Lin and, and the Brooklyn Nets lost to the Portland Trailblazers. They lost by a score of 130 to 116. Um, some key box score stats, Jeremy Lin, 22 minutes, 18 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal and 1 block. He was 6 of 14 from the field, 4 of 7 from 3 point range, and 2 of 2 from the free throw line. Great game for him. Brooke Lopez, 32 minutes, 26 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, and 1 block. Rondé Hollis Jefferson with 12 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists. Sean Kilpatrick with 20 points, 5 assists, and 2 rebounds, and Spencer Dinwiddie with 14 points, 3 assists, and 3 rebounds. For the Portland Trailblazers, CJ McCollum with 31 points and 5 assists. Damian Lillard with 19 points, 11 assists, and 5 rebounds. Mo Harkless with 18 points. Nurkic with 17 points, 6 assists, or excuse me, 6 rebounds and 5 assists. And Aminu with 23 points and 6 rebounds. So, a quick recap, the Nets were down by 10 quarters, excuse me, not 10 quarters, 10 points at the end of the first quarter. Sorry, it's pretty tired. It's 12.32 right now when I'm, when I'm recording this as um, the game started at around 12, 12, PM, 12 p.m. I'm pretty sure. So sorry if I sound a little, um, a little off. So the Nets had some sloppy play in the first quarter. They had eight turnovers, two turnovers for Hollis Jefferson in the first two minutes. He was looking very sloppy, very, very kind of out of it. I mean, he, he just looked like a Kind of lackadaisical. He wasn't really focused, so he was taken really. He was taken out really quickly, and um, the Nets in the first half came back in the second quarter with more effort, a better defense, and the Blazers had 37 points in the first quarter, and they ended with 58 points at the end of the first half. So 21 points in the second quarter for the Blazers, and it was mostly because of the good defense, the great effort. As once the starters came back in, um, the effort went, you know, went straight up, and um, the the offense was clicking more. As um, Jeremy Lin was actually um, a key part, he had a three and a two, and he got some momentum going. And I'll get more on more to Lin later. Um, in the second half, um, the third quarter, the Nets could not guard the perimeter. C.J. McCollum and Amino had a field day. They were hitting threes. CJ could drive, hit the little floater, easy lay-ins, and they tried to come back overall in the fourth quarter, the Nets, but they just couldn't pull through. They kept getting close to the Blazers. They were they cut the lead to six at one point, and I'm pretty sure it was six. And then they would they would uh the Blazers would go on like a six oh run back up to twelve, and then it was back and forth until the end where I think the, the Nets just ran out of gas. So for Jeremy Lin, he had a great game. He was not as efficient um, in this game. He shot 6 of 14 from the field. On the season, I'm pretty sure he's shooting around 46%, 46-47%. So a little a little off today. I uh, was at like 3-7, 42.9, I'm pretty sure it's 42.9. Um, but he did hit four threes. He was 4-7 from three-point range, 57.1%. And he was great from a three-point range. He had one little stretch in, stretch in the fourth quarter where he just kind of took over the offense. He just ran down the court, pulled up for three, money, next pos next possession, ran down the court, pulled up for three, and it was good again. And he actually did it the next possession too, but he was blocked. I thought it was a foul. And also at the end where it was basically the game was over, but Lynn just tried to drive. I thought he was fouled, but um, the, the refs didn't call anything. And so Lynn should really be 6 of 13 from the field and he should have gotten two more free throws for a potential 20 point game but it is what it is I guess they st uh, the refs still don't get it after that j whole Jeremy Lynn two flagrant to call video but uh, that's another story um, yeah so his shot looked great he still has a little trouble driving uh, still has a little trouble finishing you know lay-ins uh, the first possession of the game Lynn missed a pretty easy lay-in but I kind of think um, or no, no wait yeah no it's actually kind of hard I think it was a contested layup where I thought he was possibly fouled but still um, Lynn could usually get those and ones pretty well um, so still trying to get back into it 
Um, just looking at my notes, he played some great defense on Damian Lillard. Lillard should have been an all-star this year, in my opinion. But um, he, held, he held Lillard below his season average by around 7 points, I want to say. I think Lillard is averaging around 26 points. And he scored only 9 points today. But Lillard did get um, the offense going as he did have 11 assists for the Blazers. Sorry if you saw my finger there. Um, yeah, hi, if you can see me in the reflection. I'm still trying to find a good um a computer screen saver thing i can't i don't know how to explain it but i can basically just record on the computer it will record my voice and just have a picture there without me using my phone um i'll try to get that done somewhere around the summer when i have a little more time i've been really busy so sorry for going off topic but um let me just yeah so lid played 22 minutes today two more minutes than his supposed 20 minute limit in his past couple games so it was nice to see Lynn get a little more minutes. Um, he played great still. And he came in with about six and a half or so minutes left in the fourth. I want to say a little more than that. And he took a lot of shots per minute. Yeah, per minute. Uh, 14 out of 22. 711. 0.636 maybe. 0.63 shots a minute. I want to say somewhere around there. I kind of did in my head. But um, great aggressiveness by Lynn overall in tonight's game. I also want to point out, Karis LeVert kind of needs to pass a little more to Lynn. I think LeVert doesn't really pass too much to Lynn. Lynn passes it to LeVert. He he either swings it to another guy or LeVert just drives. Um, you know, LeVert was good today. I forget his stats, but he uh, shot the ball pretty well. And, you know, I would like to see LeVert pass the ball a little more. And he needs to work on his three-point shot a little more. It seems that he rushes his catch-and-shoot threes, so he got to work on that. Great game for Sean Kilpatrick, who has sucked um, the past couple games. Scored 20 points, dished out 5 assists. He had 6 threes out of 7, th seven attempts. So good for Kilpatrick. Hopefully he can uh, stay in a rhythm and uh, keep keep shooting the ball well. Have some uh, good confidence and um, hopefully the Nets can potentially get an asset for him over the summer if they trade him. I think uh, Kilpatrick could definitely get maybe like 2 seconds. So we'll see. Or if he, if he stays, he uh, should you know try to pass the ball a little more like he did today. Look, um, Kilpatrick had five assists, so good for him. I also want to mention Spencer Dinwiddie was nice. He's been playing very well the past couple games. I haven't really mentioned him too much, but he's just very efficient. Doesn't turn the ball over too much. He had one or two turnovers today, but um, besides the Jazz game, he had like a stretch of like four to five games where he didn't even record a single turnover. So good on Dinwiddie and. I had my doubts on him when he first came to Brooklyn, especially with Farrell playing very well for the Mavericks. But Dinwiddie has turned out very nice. Um, Sean Livingston-like, I want to say. But um, we'll see how Dinwiddie progresses. I definitely think he should return to Brooklyn next year as potentially a second string or third string point guard. So that's a wrap. Thanks, guys, for listening, for watching. Um, it's pretty late. I should sleep soon. And uh, if you're up, you know, uh, oh, I don't, I don't know if you saw me, but uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, I'm just so out of it, but if you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys soon, peace.